Good morning, YouTube land. How are you guys today? I hope your resurrection day yesterday was just so full of joy and so full of peace and so full of promise. I know it is so exciting to be God's kid. It is so exciting and it's so wonderful to know that, you know what? We are like totally in the days that Daniel was writing to Jesus about. Asking him, when are these things gonna happen? What are the signs? How are we gonna know? What do we look for? And when Jesus said, there's gonna be the earthquakes, and you're going to see this happening and there's going to be kingdoms against kingdoms and there's going to be pestilence. I mean, I'm telling you guys, we are here in the latter days. Today's video is titled, Do Not Be Deceived in the Latter Days. Because right now, I'm telling you, I have been watching like videos that I have been watching for the past few years and all of a sudden it just struck a chord inside me that nothing is new under the sun and when you see these pastors that have their little YouTube channels on this YouTube channel they're selling books now it's, it's, you know, it's like they're wearing the suit and the tie. They've got guests on their show. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Don't get me wrong here. I'm just saying, where is the lifting up his name? Who cares about the stupid book you wrote? Who cares about the 99 cent coffee cup mug that you bought from the Dollar Tree store and now is part of your ministry? Okay? Quit selling the people. Quit taking people's money. Jesus' ministry was seven days a week. All he did was tell people that his kingdom was not of this world. And we're living in days we don't have time to play church. We're living in the days where are you saved? Do you know Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior? Because that's what it comes down to. We are there. We are there right now. I know. Calm down. Just be quiet over there. Calm down. It's okay. Okay, I, I made some tea. It's supposed to calm my nerves. Are you saved? Are you? I, I can't explain or express the urgency. When you look all around you, when you hear of another nuclear plant here in Florida leaking, of course, that's on the Miami side, and I'm on the Gulf of Mexico side. So if you look at Florida, I'm not anywhere near the nuclear leak, but it's happening. And, and if it's near the water, Okay, I'm not stupid. That nuclear waste eventually is going to be all around. I know. Makes me sick to my stomach, as a matter of fact. And, and you know, two weeks ago, all these fish kills and all the dead fish here in Florida. I knew something was fixing to come up into the news about some something like a radiation leak? God have mercy. 
You know, and if it's not happening to you, or if it's not on your doorstep, a lot of people aren't going to care. That's the way it is in the world. You know, a perfect example is when that Boeing went down with all the, what, what was it? Was it Malaysians? People around the world, they felt a little bit bad. Oh, that's just too bad that that Malaysian's airline went down. Yeah, they felt a little bit bad until it's your niece or your nephew or your mom or dad or cousin or, you know what I mean? People don't get it until it hits home. Well, I'm trying to hit people. I'm trying to knock on the doors of your heart while there's still time because people's got eyes to see and they got ears to hear but this just seems to go right over their head do you know what days we're living in they're evil days i'm serious about that and i want to give a quick shout out to my brother from another mother thomas because I didn't know what Bible verse I was going to read. And he shoots me Psalm 46, verses 1 to 11. And so if you don't mind opening up your Bible, come on, we need to put some hope in our hearts. We need to clear out some muck and put in some peace. We need to get rid of some fear and put in some hope. You know what I'm talking about. You know what days it is. God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in trouble. I said a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Think about that. This is the Bible talking about the mountains being carried into the middle of the sea. This is talking about the waters roaring, the oceans are troubled. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early, the heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth he breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder he burneth the chariot in the fire be still and know that i am god i will be exalted among the heathen i will be exalted in the earth the lord of hosts is with us the God of Jacob is our refuge. And if you didn't know that, now you know. See, a lot of people, they're going to be going to and fro seeking knowledge. They may not be doing it now. Oh, no, not yet. That's because they still think that life is like Disneyland. And they got that ticket free pass where they can just go anywheres they want and do anything they want. 
and rob whoever's they want. And I know, right? Evil's getting more evil. And there ain't no shame in their game. Matter of fact, when you turn on the news, you turn on the news, and, that, and then you see things about how parents in, in my state, okay, how parents have used a, a tase gun on their children for being disobedient. Yeah, they tase their kids. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know where people's heads are at. But you're going to hear nothing but the truth on this channel. Jesus can save you. I needed saving. I was doing my own thing in the world, not caring about tomorrow. Matter of fact, we're not even promised tomorrow. Matter of fact, when I digs into my Bible, I learn something new every single day. I learned in church that when Jesus was taken up at his resurrection day, graves and tombs opened. Yes! Dead people that were dead, they woke up out of their tombs and walked back into the city of Jerusalem. And and I know, I didn't even know that. I never even heard of such a thing. No wonder we got zombie movies everywhere. Because that's the first thing I'd be thinking about. Somebody's dead for years, months, and all of a sudden, now they're awake and alive, and they're living, and they're walking back into a city to live after they've been done buried and dead and pronounced dead? What? I know. I, the miracle of Jesus. And when it says he will cause people to wake up out of their deep sleep, I ain't doubting. I don't doubt it. The good book said it. The Lord said it. That's it. That's settled. There ain't no disputing. There ain't no debating. That's the way I am. God said it and that settles it. That's the way I am. Ain't no debating. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. For all you university professors teaching people evolution. How dare you? How dare you confuse God's kids? You need to be fired. You need to be fired for not speaking the truth. And I don't know about you guys, but did you know there is another God's Not Dead Part 2. You need to see it. People are not going to be quiet and just shut up and be spoon-fed crap. I'm telling you, the government is full of it. This world demonic beast system is full of it. And they're going to see what they're doing. They're not going to get away with it. As a matter of fact, I hope that people are waking up because when Jesus comes back, are you going to be ready? Are you going to be right? Or are you going to be left? Because I'm telling you, you still got time. But why does it take time to make up your mind? We all need a Savior. You're not Superman, and I ain't Superwoman. I need a Savior, and I'm glad it's God Almighty Son. People calling him the spaghetti flying monster, you guys are in for a rude awakening. And I'm saying rude. You don't know what day or hour he's coming. 
and I ain't a date setter, but I can tell you, his day is closer today than it was yesterday. Think about on that. Think about it. The Bible says, you can call on the name of the Lord and you can be set free. So why aren't you calling on his name? For, for those of you that are still not sure if, if you want to follow Jesus. Well, I don't know. I can't see him. Really? You can't see the beautiful mountains and the cute little butterflies that go in a cocoon? And then after a couple of weeks, they come out of their cocoon like a snake coming out of their dead scaly skin? Yes, I said a snake. The snake is in this world. I can't believe people still are not saved. That frightens me. That frightens me. That's why I'm not going to stop making videos, because things are getting ready to happen. You think 20, 20, uh, 2Z, you think 2011 was bad? When the Twin Towers, when the two planes went flying into the Twin Towers, I was awake that morning getting ready for work. I had the news on, and I watched the second plane fly into the building and all I could do was what is going on? A at first I was like there's no way a second plane could just fly into that building. Okay, the first plane, something happened to the pilot or the plane but when that second plane went into the other tower, I knew America was under attack. I knew. I knew the jihadis were in those planes. I'm telling you, it is going to get worse. You gotta accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. What if you die? What if you perish? without calling on his name. There is no calling out to Jesus when you're pronounced dead. There is no having a second chance when you're face to face with the, with the Savior of the world. That's why people be laughing now, but you're going to be crying later if you don't accept Jesus. And I'm just speaking the truth. Jesus saves. The devil deceives. Did you know the devil can call fire down from heaven? Did you know the devil can disguise himself like an angel of light? That's like having a girlfriend that has a twin, an identical twin. And she's laid up in your bed. And you're like, you know what? You look like my wife. But I don't know, something just don't feel right. I'm telling you, don't be deceived. A lot of people are going to be deceived in these days. They're going to they're going to start worshiping the antichrist in the last days, in the great tribulation because they're just not going to feel like they have a choice. You do have a choice. You do have a choice. It's your choice. And you know what? What time is it? Time for me to go. I love you. Please don't be deceived in these last days. I love you so much. But Jesus loves you more. He died for you. Please. Make sure you know him today.
i love you. bye.